Hello, this is how to change the cartridges on an airlift manifold. This job scared me, but it wasn't that hard. First off, make sure your manifold is tightly clamped down. Grab a medium sized screwdriver, hammer away between the metal and the manifold. You'll see it pops out slightly. Once it's started to come away, grab a bigger screwdriver, put it in, do exactly the same, but this time push away from yourself to try and lever it out as you're hitting it downwards. Eventually, it'll pop out like that. Next up, grab some long nose pliers or needle nose pliers and grab out the little tube that's in the middle, pull it straight towards you, it'll come out like that. Then you'll want a small screwdriver and there's a small metal collar around the edge. If you go between that and the brass piece that's in there, lever the brass piece up so that you can get a slightly bigger screwdriver into the gap. I go for the medium screwdriver, push it in the gap and then you'll want to lever away so that you pull the collar out towards you. There's a slot in this collar. Try and leave it where the slot is, it'll come out easier, like that. Then the piece that you've bent up with a screwdriver, if you haven't bent it up enough, bend it up a little bit more, because you'll want to get some long nose pliers in there to pull it out. Usually the brass piece will come out separately to the plastic, and the plastic's a nightmare. Luckily for me in this case, it all came out together. Make sure the edges of the manifold are not rough. If they are, file them back a bit. Mine are okay. Grab your new cartridge, push it in. I've got 3 8 cartridges here, so I need a 16 millimeter socket because I want to push on the metal around uh, the cartridge and not on the plastic part. So socket on, hammer. You've got to really whack this. It feels like you're breaking it, but you're not. Make sure you've got your manifold clamped down tight. Make sure there's no gaps between the metal collar and the manifold, and if it's in, you're all good to go. Release your clamps, put it back in your vehicle. When you do reconnect it up, airlift say that you should cut the ends of your airline from where they were previously inserted, just to make sure that there's a nice tight seal. Make sure the pipes are cut straight, and all the rest of it, you guys already know this. Have a good day, I hope this was helpful, see you soon.